Today's adventure kicks off Dapper Days, plural, weekend. As the recording of this, it is Saturday, April 24th. Magic Kingdom has been slated for the event. And I managed to get a reservation. I tried all morning, current time 1 p.m. Finally got one for Hollywood Studios, so I'm gonna go scan my Magic Band in there, and then park hop over to MK for Dapper Day. Saturday's Dapper Day is at Magic Kingdom. Sunday's tomorrow will be at Epcot. I got them both. Spoiler alert. Yeah, you're right, Big the Foot. Now that you mention it, Donald might be the original Dapper character. He's got, he's got a nice little bow tie on. Good call. Now, because I don't have a reservation for Magic Kingdom, all I have to do is go to studios, scan my Magic Band, and at two o'clock, I can enter MK. So that's what I'm doing. Now, this might seem like, well, by the way, welcome everyone. Adam the Woo here, going casual Dapper. Have this cap, glasses. I even have a, a new facial covering, a little more stylish, and a collared shirt. And yes, even though I am wearing my tennis shoes, I have pants on. Wow, it must be a historic occasion. I used to wear pants a lot, but lately I've been wearing a lot of shorts. This may seem like a quite an endeavor to go in here first, but trust me, it is very difficult to get a reservation for Magic Kingdom, so this is the only way. It's the workaround. You, if, if, you check, if you go in and scan in at any of the parks that you have in the morning, they allow park hopping at 2 p.m. I'm inviting you to join me. Dapper Day weekend begins. Shall you? Take my cap. All right, I'm in. I should also mention that this is the spring version experience of this. They do it twice a year. Before heading out, I'm gonna get a couple photo pass photos just to document my experience on this occasion here in studios as well, even though it's technically not Dapper Day in studios. I can still take some photos here, right? I think I can. And then heading out. That's how it's going down. Also, as I walk back to my car, it should be noted that I they, they had me all the way back here at Buzz 402 so maybe capacity's going up a little bit. This is the farthest I've seen, uh, the most filled up I've seen the parking in a while. All right, heading out. The two quick photos I got in there just arrived, me in front of the Chinese theater. See my outfit? Not, not, not the most spectacular ensemble, but nonetheless, look of confusion on my face. At this moment, I'm thinking, maybe I'm not dapper enough, but then I'm justifying it because it's 88 degrees and it's Florida, and it's toasty. Casual, dapper, knows no rules. Current time, 147. By the time I park and take the ferry boat over, it'll be a little past two, I can, can enter the kingdom of magic. One thing that is kind of nice, though, is a nice little breeze and some, some gustiness in the air. See the flags here waving. Also, kind of overcast, but the sun does protrude out from time to time, and when it does, you can feel it. What if the people mover will be happening today? Yesterday I did not luck out, but it could happen today. There's a really good chance. I'll walk over to Tomorrowland while I'm in here as well and see. Now I did consider taking the monorail, but I feel like the ferry boat is a more appropriate mode of transportation here on this current topic and day. I have procured a piping hot caffeinated beverage, a hazelnut latte from Joffrey's, which was open at TTC. See the castle in the distance and a ferry boat. Looks like Admiral Joe Fowler. I can read that from here. Surprisingly, I can read that from here. It, it's, yeah, I guess my eyesight's not too, not too bad here. And speaking of ferry boats, I will definitely be going on the Liberty Bell, I almost said Mark Twain, the Liberty Bell around the rivers of America once I'm in the park. What are the odds of walking in to the one and only Dapper Dance? Doesn't get much better than that. Excellent. Thanks, everybody. How about a hand for the other three guys? Huh? Come on. <laughs> yeah, it does not look as if the people mover is happening at this moment. But the day, you know, through the, oh, I see a lot of cast members up there on the platform. So 
Imagine if this started run. Oh, look up here. There's even more cast members up there walking. They might actually open this today as stated. They said this weekend that could have been last night, today, or tomorrow. I have, I have my fingers crossed. Now, I just asked the cast member. They said definitely not today, but I don't know. There's a lot of cast members on site right here, so I, I, I still think it might happen. You know, let's wait and see. I am happy to say there are a lot of folks who are dressed up for the occasion, including a photo pass cast member right over there by the wishing well everyone is in their dapper form you know just enjoying the day including me i'm casual da casual dapper it is very bright i should have these on yeah i look probably look better without the glasses on because you know, my whole face is covered but this is protecting me from the sun rays i'm gonna i'm gonna go utilize some of the photo paths Get some pictures. That's how I feel when the sun beams down upon my noggin. I, I, I understand that cinema. I should also point out that the construction cranes are down there because they are decorating the castle for the 50th anniversary, which will take place on October 1st of this year. 50 years of Walt Disney World. That's why the water's drained and the construction cranes are down there. Kind of a, a real beehive of activity over near the hub grass. The hub grass seems to be the, the spot where everyone is congregating to get photos. And I did as well. Okay, Dapper Dan's are back once again. They said goodbye earlier, but now they're back. Dapper Dan's are back. up to the train station. I thought I heard them from down Main Street. Well, thanks everybody. If you enjoyed our show, we are the Dapper Dans of Main Street. And if you did not, we're the Vienna Boys Choir. <laughs> now gonna head over to the, the Liberty Bell ferry boat. Take a ride around the rivers of America. It's always a good time. It says 20 minute wait for the Haunted Mansion. Gonna go get scared and frightened here inside the, the East Coast Haunted Mansion. A little bit different facade than the West Coast Haunted Mansion, but still nonetheless just as frightening. I was gonna go on the ferry boat, but they said it is temporarily down currently under some, under some maintenance issues, and they said it will be back up a little bit later, so the Haunted Mansion it is, and the, the queue stretches all the way out here. Not too bad, but probably like a 20 or 30 minute wait. I met up with some friends looking very, very dapper. Hello! Danny702 and Eddie. He looks fancy with his little bow. You do, you have your bow tie and the suspenders. You know, I actually went out this morning and purchased a bow tie and suspenders and I could not figure out how to put them on. So what I did was I went casual. I went casual dapper. I mean, you're so you're dapper. I went ca casual dapper. It works. Casual I think it works. Dapper. So you're saying you had this from last year's Dapper Day. Correct. So you're just rehashing the dapper. It's a dapper rehash. Right? Yeah, I literally went into my closet and everything was still hung up. Perfect. No one would have known until I just told until I told, until I just stated it. <laughs> up on the side of this hill is Mr. Toad. There is a headstone of Mr. Toad, and there's a rumor that they're going to put one of the characters from Splash Mountain up there. They're going to put Br'er Rabbit. But I also think maybe Trader Sam should go up there as well. I think Trader Sam needs to go up there on, on the side of that hill. Two, three. See, I need my own personal photographer. Come on, Eddie. Take some photos of me sometime. <laughs> he, gotta, he can get your thumbnail, Adam. They're not good. A little dark, but I can fix them. They're in, they're in raw. What's the, what's the terminology? You're gonna fix it in post? Yeah. I'm gonna fix that in post. Post-production editing. And hopefully upon exit of the mansion, the ferry boat will be quite operational around the rivers of America. I'd really like to go on that. That really would signify, the, I think of all the attractions on this occasion, on this day, that would be a, that would be a big one, the ferry boat. So if that doesn't start moving, that would be, I, it would be it'd be better if it was. Yeah, it is a really good sign. Now the the wheel on the back there's spinning. So maybe when we depart off of Mansion, it'll be working. Okay, I just put that into the universe. I stated that as I was walking. Now I'm stopped. Now it start the wheels turning, and the wheels are turning in my head, thinking that maybe we'll get on that thing. <laughs> I think we will. I think so too. 
It's a Dapper Day miracle. <laughs> and just a heads up, even though this says open for visitation, this section is not open for visitation. Even though they have the markings down here, they haven't had this section open quite yet since reopening. As I stand here and look at this, I'm trying to think what the most dapper moment in this attraction would be. I would say it definitely has to be the ballroom scene when you're going over the top of the ballroom and you're looking down at the dinner table and everyone is kind of dancing around in their, their very stylish best as they're just kind of having a good time down there. The bottom of the ballroom. Yeah, I'm gonna say that is the most dapper moment in the haunted mansion. Off the top of my head, anyway. Someone's going around handing out these Dapper Day pins. Spring Events 2021. Yeah, pretty, pretty neat little souvenir. Oh yeah, blowing it stack, pulling into the port, the ferry boat. Woo! Going along the perimeter of Frontierland now. We got the Diamond Horseshoe, Country Bear Jamboree over off. Sometimes the Sometimes the bears will be up on the balcony, but they are not out on the balcony at the moment. I'm always fascinated with how these work. You know, this kind of propels the water pulling away from Frontierland and the bridge that leads to Big Thunder Mountain Railroad and to Splash Mountain. And over there you can see the tippy top of the Tiki Room. On the other side of the Tiki Room is where the Jungle Cruise is. And of course, right over there. If I had this on that, I would have to eat this repeat. But I, I'm on the ferry boat, so it should be good. That thing got me, that steam. That steam got me again. Dripping down that hot steam. Geysers are in full effect. Oh, there's a good angle of the castle. Never noticed that through those the trees there, the, the middle of the trees. I'm always so distracted by Big Thunder Mountain Railroad that I never look the opposite way. That's a good one. Ooh, can't forget about this though. Oh, the whole front is empty. The whole front is empty. Maybe someone sat in there and then they stated, you best remove them so the guests got out. Howling Dog Bend. That's what it says right there on that buoy. How, Howling Dog Bend Pass Mansion. And you can see the castle and the little station there, the port where she's pulling into and departing. This is where all the, the bells and whistles are. This is where the magic happens. Back there on that puff is what turns that wheel in the back. That wooden wheel that's spinning around. That mechanism right there is what makes it operational. One final view from the river's angle, from the bottom floor of the ferry boat, looking at the mansion there. Stopped off for some food at the Friar Nook, which is kind of next to the carousel. I've never eaten here before, but they have a hot dog that's loaded with mac and cheese, and they have some tater tots with sour cream and chives, 
And you guys got also kind of the same thing. Yeah. You guys got the mac and cheese. And what's that right there? Oh, you got the loaded buffalo hot dog. Still no word on the people mover yet. It is going around the track, but there are no guests on it whatsoever. So there are no guests on the people mover, but the people mover itself is moving around the perimeter all above just directly below the astro orbiter and all those spots however i am noticing the audio is on as well so they have turned on the audio as it goes by so as it zips by the audio is on for the first time i've heard it in about a year and even though they're doing the spiel directly above my head there still is this washboard this attraction not open today dang oh there are people on it check it out there are cast members on it they have got there are people on there right now oh fancy meeting michael k here you out. What are you waiting for? Nothing. Nothing? You're maybe waiting for the people mover to open at some point? Photo Just photo ops? Photo ops? Photo okay, looking very dapper yeah, you while you're waiting. You while around. you're waiting around. I am casual dapper. That's what I call myself. Okay. Casual dapper. I believe we're going to go over to the teacups and do a little teacup ride as well. From here, you can see it going by on the track and right directly behind me, going to step into one of the teacups on the, the teacup and just kind of spin around and have a, a nice little a little dapper spin, stir, shaken not stirred in the teacups, which always gets me very disoriented and, I won't say delirious, but definitely gets me a little disoriented the more you kind of twist this around. But keeping my hat, I'm keeping the hat, I'm like Indiana Jones, I don't lose my hat under extremities of the teacups, even though I don't think Harrison Ford ever ridden, rode on the teacups. Maybe he did. I, I always heard the rumor he never even rode on the Indiana Jones ride in Anaheim, so odds are good he's never been on the teacups either. All right, now heading over to Pirates of the Caribbean, or is it Caribbean? I guess it depends on how you pronounce it. Going into the darkness, into the catacombs of pirates. Definitely had a little bit of an issue, and they have washed up on shore. Look at all that on the shoreline there. Well, they're making an announcement. Someone has stuck their hand outside the boat. Don't do that. All right, we're getting ready to drop in. Hold on. Hold on. Don't get wet. Don't get wet. Don't get wet. Oh, I didn't get wet. And with that, going to walk out of the park. Think might go over to Grand Floridian, maybe even the Polynesian. I'm noticing the characters are up there. We got Pluto, we got Donald, we got Goofy. What else see Goofy? We got Pluto, Mickey, Minnie, and Donald cast of characters up there at the train station saying goodbye from Dapper Day, 2021 Spring Edition, first day, Magic Kingdom. Not taking a monorail out of here, we're going to take a ferry boat over to the Grand Floridian.
decided not to get off at the Grand Floridian, going over to the Poly, looking across Seven Seas. See the castle, see Space Mountain. Oh, and look back here. The electric water parade is starting to come out of, the bridge has turned, and there are the parade floats. Look at that, that's so neat. There you go, that's where they, that's where they go out on the boats. Oh, and the monorail's going right over where the bridge turned so that the boats can bring out the barges. Well, the barges, well, they're, the boats are the barges. Those are the floats for the electric light parade on water. That's neat, a little, a little something you don't normally see. Way over there. That's pretty dang cool. Almost to the poly. Gonna get a Dole Whip. A nice delicious treat to close out the night. Made it to the Pineapple Lanai, and I am not the only one with this same idea. There's a little bit of a line kind of formulating here. And I am ready for a Dole Whip. I opted for something a little different this time. I went with the vanilla instead of the pineapple. This is a vanilla Dole Float. I think, well, vanilla float from the Dole Whip stand. The Pineapple Lanai. I don't like to discuss business on the Lanai, but I will have a Dole Whip. Just in time as the monorail pulls into TTC, walking away from the poly. And with that, I'm gonna go ahead and, and end the evening. That's gonna do it for today. Always good to see a heavy metal Mickey made out of aluminum or steel or some other, other, some other metal product. That's why I call you heavy metal Mickey. And look up top, there's the moon right up there. A successful spring dapper day. Florida version, day one Magic Kingdom, comes to an end. Feels good out here with this breeze. The vlog is over. Oh yeah, there's two more photos I forgot to show. There's this one here, in front of the castle, took earlier this afternoon, and this one, which I think turned out pretty good. I had my hat off my head covering, covering my mouth. I'm not sure why, but pretty neat photo. It's a good one.